everybody. We are on our ways to get, um, I always say we, it's just me, I'm by myself. But I am on my way to get my lips touched up. We're like five minutes away, not even. my channel in today's video we're going to be discussing something that I feel like gets a lot of negative feedback it gets like a lot of negative you know reactions um, I'm sure you guys know what this video is about because of the title um, but we're gonna be talking about lip injection in this video it is also a vlog that I will be showing you guys when I was there getting my lips done but yeah this video is going to be a vlog of my experience and it's going to be a Q&A as well so if you guys want to learn a little bit more about lip injections and my thoughts and opinions and everything like that then please keep watching so the first thing I want to say is that I, I have been getting my lips done over three years and nobody can tell nobody notices a difference because it's very natural it's very subtle it's really just in my upper lip um, and I just want to say that you know I know lip injections is so big on social media and all these big influencers um, I got this done because it's something I wanted to do and it's something that I've just always been insecure about I used to say all the time I wanted lip injections in high school after high school I just always wanted it and I just never did it and um, I finally did something that I wanted for myself um, I don't really feel like I, I really don't th feel like I need to like justify it but I do feel like these type of videos and you know these discussions do get a lot of hate um, so I just want to say it's something I've always wanted to do. I don't feel like anyone influenced me to get it. It's just something I wanted to do. So I just wanted to make that clear. And I never really thought about making a video on it. But I do share it on my Instagram stories. And I get so many people DMing me questions. I get so many people asking me questions. Telling me, you know, they want to know more about it. They want me to vlog it. They just want to see, you know, my opinions and how it is on me. So this video is for those who are interested, the ones who always DM me on social media, on Instagram. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So I did vlog the entire experience, so that will be at the end of this video. Before we start the Q&A and the vlog, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience and how I've been doing it and things like that. So I will post a photo of my lips before they I'll post it right here. I literally had no upper lip, literally no upper lip, like nothing was there. And I've just always wanted lip injections since high school. It's just something I personally wanted. It's just an insecurity of mine. You know, I love makeup and I hated wearing lipstick. I hated wearing lipstick because I had no upper lip. So it would just look like, you know, red down here and nothing at the top and I just hated it. I hated feeling that way. Um, One of my main fears was to get like the duck lips and you know that does happen to some people but I was doing my research and the reason people get that duck of duck of duck effect is because they are putting so much injections in such a small space. To get like a natural out you need to start little by little every time I go get them touched up I still only put half a syringe I do not do a full syringe there was one time I did a full syringe and that was like two years ago I actually I was on YouTube when I had when I had a full syringe it was like some of my other videos I'll post like a little clip right here but you they ju it just did not look good my bottom lip was so big my top one was big but it was just like weird it just didn't look good on me Plus, because when you do a full syringe, you got to put like half the top, half the bottom or whatever. We barely put anything in my bottom lip. Like these are my natural bottom lips. The only thing is we put, we put mainly half a syringe in my top lip and we put a tiny amount in the bottom just so it like swells the same. They're actually really swollen right now. They're going to go down a lot, but I love when it's swollen. I wish it stayed like this. You know, when you build it up little by little, you're not just stuffing, you know, two syringes in this tiny little space. You know, it has nowhere to go. Either it will go up here because you do see some people who have injections up here. Um, you know, it just happens to some people. You know, sometimes it just has nowhere else to go. It goes at the top or, you know, you get that duck effect. And that was just like my main concern. So my main thing is that if you're interested in doing it, if you don't 
have any lips at all really um definitely start little by little to build it up to get the natural effect i go to this place called grace medical aesthetics they are in connecticut they are about an hour away from me but she also has an office oops she also has an office in new york city but for me, I feel like driving is just so much easier. I drive there in an hour rather than taking a train for 40 minutes, taking an Uber, you know, city traffic. Like, I just want to avoid the city. But I guess let's just get right into the Q&A. Someone wrote, what makes you want to get lip injections? Is it costly? Is there a risk and complications? Um, I wanted to get lip injections. I already, you know, I already spoke about this. Um... I just always had an insecurity with my lips. It's just, you know, something I wanted to do. I'm not gonna repeat myself on that whole subject, but I feel like that question was already answered. That is there a risk and complications? Um, so I just Googled it because I really don't know if there's any risk. I know certain products work differently. It just says the risk of dermal fillers depend on whether the procedure was done correctly and the type of filler used. So um, there really is no risk. I mean, you get bruising. I mean, I have a bruise right here. You you can't really see it. I have lipstick on. Um, moving on. Does it hurt? P.S. I love you. I love you too. And the answer is they put like a clear numbing cream on it so it numbs the area. But you do feel it. I personally am a baby. When you watch the vlog, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like I'm in pain. And I am in a little bit of pain, but not really. I'm more of just like a baby. You do feel the needle at first, but it's a very like light. I'm, I think it's more of like the nerves. Like I've been getting it done for three years and I'm still like, I still get nervous. Like I still get like, I don't know, any type of shot, any needles. I mean, I'm getting like, you know, I'm all anxious, you know, so it looks like I'm in pain, but it really doesn't hurt. They do numb the area. Um, how long does it last? Um, it depends, I feel like, on the person. For me, it can last up to three months, but I, I go, like, every four months. Um, I know some people who get it, like, once a year. I think it just depends, uh, how quickly it dissolves into your body, because it does dissolve. And, um, I have to go about every three, four months. Um, I mean, I personally can go sooner than that. I feel like after two months, it's just not as plump. But you can definitely still see it, it's just not as plump. But I wait till, like, four months, because I don't want to, like, waste all my money. Oh! To go back to the other question, she wrote, is it costly? For a full syringe, I think of Restylane, it's $5.50. And then half a syringe is $3.75. That's how much it costs. But like whatever she uses does cost differently. I mean, they will go over all that with you wherever you decide to go. Someone said, I'm thinking about doing it, but what if I don't like it? Um, the best part about lip injections, I feel, is that it dissolves. So, I mean, if you don't like it, it does go away. And um, that's the same thing with like any type of fillers on your face. I don't, I don't have any fillers like on my cheeks or anything. But if I ever wanted to get that done and I don't like it, it does dissolve. I mean, I personally feel like I don't need it. My cheeks are already huge. Someone says, what is the downtime? Um, I personally feel like there is no downtime. I mean, yes, like there's like for me, at least I feel like it's different for everyone else. Yesterday, my lips were definitely like, you know, swollen and they're sore, but like they don't hurt. Like I can wear lipstick and lip gloss. Today, I'm wearing lipstick and lip gloss. Like there is no downtime. Um, I feel like, I mean, but everyone's different. I know some people who swell so bad, um, but I just, I just don't swell. Um, I'm looking through a lot of these questions are just repetitive. Um, does it hurt? How much is it? Does it hurt? I got like 30 does it hurts. They're all the same questions. So I tried answering the most of it. You know that this is just my experience. Everyone is different. Some places are more expensive. I call this place in this city and they want to charge like $900 for a full syringe. I mean, every place is different. I personally love this place. They are just so welcoming when you go in. They're so nice. Um, they offer so many services. This isn't sponsored, by the way, but if they want to sponsor me, you guys know how to contact me. Um, this isn't sponsored, but I mean, they're just really, really good. I feel like that's everything I really wanted to say. I answered a lot of your questions. If you guys had more questions that or anything you guys wanted to discuss that I did not speak about, please leave it in the comments down below. I will answer everyone's comments. And um, yeah, so I guess I can get a little close up so you guys can see my lips right now. And I'll put a before photo again right here. So these are my lips right now. 
but um yeah i am obsessed with it again i didn't want to make this video because i don't want to seem like i'm promoting it but i'm going to share my experience and answer your guys questions for those who are interested in the ones who always dm me on instagram asking me questions about it i decided to vlog it and if there are people who have some negative feedback or negative comments um just keep it to yourself thank you so let's get right into the vlog All right, so for her height, again, we want it, We don't want it behind the muscle, right? We want it in front of the muscle. Hatch a little bit under that cupid's bow so that she has like some height and some kind of projection without looking dark. All right, so you can see she really needs to be pulled out on the sides. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna What are we using today? Uh, refine. What have we used in the past? I don't know. I just trust whatever yeah. you do. Yeah, Alice is the one in charge of that. <laughs> you've done Rexy, you've done Refine. Oh, I just do whatever they tell me to do. Okay, so see the difference? See how much more lip she has out here now mm -hmm. than there? It just has more of a more of a shape, actually, the whole thing, right? So I'm going to stay away from this part because I, I want it to appear like she's got more of a top lip. If I match that, she's just going to look wider and it's okay. not going to be, you know, it's not going to be, no, there's no definitely any aesthetic benefit to it, you know? I'm in my car and these are my lips um they're super swollen they don't stay this big i wish they did they look so nice but this is the swollenness and um yeah we only did half a syringe we do most of it in the top lip and then we put a little in the bottom yeah i'm so obsessed with it i literally love how they look but um I'm gonna put my camera away we have an hour drive home so yeah that is the vlog of me getting it done it does look like I'm in a little bit of pain but I swear I'm really not they do numb the area really really well and um, yeah that's pretty much everything I wanted to discuss and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys turn on post notifications because I post so many videos I do so many giveaways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video